Hello, kindergarten. Hope everyone had a great night last night. Today we're going to be doing calendar, and then since we're learning about constellations in science, I thought we would read this story. It's called The Big Dipper. All right, here we go. Good morning, good morning. How are you today? We welcome you, we welcome you in a friendly way. Sing the days of the week with everybody, starting with Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days make a week, starting with Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. All right, let's count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. Ready? Count it by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Who can tell me what day of the week is it today? Today is. Wednesday. Very good. Woof, woof, Wednesday. What will tomorrow be? Good. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Good job. And if we do our straw, we had 154 days of school. 154 plus 1. 150. We can count by fives to 155. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120. 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, 155. Good job. All right. So we are talking about constellations. This story is called The Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is a constellation, and we can see it from Lewisburg. If you go out at nighttime, especially over our house, we don't have a lot of lights by us. We live out kind of in the woods, um, so we can see the stars really well. We see lots of shooting stars at our house. But the Big Dipper is one of the constellations that we can see. If you look right there, that's what it looks like. It kind of has a tail and this big scoop. Okay. Tonight, see if you can see the Big Dipper. All right, here we go. I like to go outside at night. Everything is still and dark. At night, I can see the stars. Some nights, the stars are very bright. They look close, too. It seems that I can almost touch them. I know I cannot. They are too far away. My father and I look at the stars. We look at them in summer and in winter. They are not always the same. In summer, these are some of the stars that I see. Can anyone find the Big Dipper on this page? Yep, it's right here. There we go. In winter, I see these stars. But there are some stars that I can see in both summer and in winter. I can see the Big Dipper almost every night if the sky is clear. Can you find the Big Dipper now? It looks a little bit different. Right here it is. Okay. Long ago, people drank water from dippers. 
The dipper in the sky looks like a water dipper. It has a bent handle and it has a bowl. And there's a picture, kind of what a dipper used to look like that they used to drink water. There are three stars in the handle of the dipper. There are four stars in the bowl. See that? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I use a compass to help me find the dipper. A compass points to the north. I hold the compass in my hands. Then I look in the direction that the compass needle points. I can see the Big Dipper in summer and in winter. On summer nights, the Big Dipper looks like this. That's how it looks at her house in the summer. And look, she's out catching lightning bugs. On winter nights, it looks like this. On fall nights, the dipper looks like this. It is low in the sky. Sometimes so low, you may only be able to see part of it. There it is. These are the names of the seven stars in the Big Dipper. The two stars at the end of the bowl are called the pointer stars. They point to Polaris, the North Star. And there's all of the names of the stars in the Big Dipper. When you look at the Big Dipper in the sky, imagine a dotted line going from one star at the end of the bowl to the other. Imagine the dotted line goes all the way to the North Star. So if you look here, here's the end of the Big Dipper. And if you go straight up, you'll see the North Star. The North Star is a very important star. Sailors and other travelers used it to help them find their way. When they sailed toward it, they're going north. If they sailed away from it, they were going south. To go to the west, sailors kept the North Star to their right. To go to the east, they kept the North Star to their left. There is also a Little Dipper. The North Star is the first star in the handle of the Little Dipper. The Little Dipper has seven stars too. Whenever I see the Big Dipper, I can find the Little Dipper. So here's the Big Dipper. And if you go straight off the Dipper, that's the North Star, and that takes you to the Little Dipper. I did not know that. I knew there was a Little Dipper, but I, I sometimes have a hard time finding it. When the sky is clear and dark, go outside and look for the Dippers. Look to the North. There you will see the Big Dipper, the North Star, and the Little Dipper. Long ago, people imagined the Big Dipper was part of a big bear. They called it Ursa Major. Ursa means bear, and major means big. They imagined that the handle of the Dipper was the tail of the bear. Three pairs of stars were the paws of the bear. A bright star was his nose. And that's the constellation, Ursa Major. Sometimes I think I can see the tail of the bear. I make believe that I can see his head and nose and the four feet. So here's the Big Dipper. There's the rest of it, and then the Little Dipper's up there. People long ago thought the Little Dipper was part of a little bear. Since minor means little, they called it Ursa Minor, Little Bear. I try hard to imagine that I can see the Little Bear, but I cannot. Maybe you can. Some night, when it is still and dark, take a friend outside. Show him how to find the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, 
and the North Star. See if he can imagine that he sees the big bear, maybe he'll even be able to see the little bear. And that is the end. So if you live downtown or somewhere where there's lots of lights, maybe your grown-ups can take you on a drive one night when it's really clear and there's no clouds and you can go out star hunting and looking for constellations. Okay? I hope everyone has a great night. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.